giving me a whole sunset vibe for 6 seconds i just put on my ring light Okay, this video is also very special, you guys. I'm doing this video at 11 p.m. Almost nobody's at my home, and I have I'm all home alone, and I want to talk about this. Doing this video in the front camera because I can see myself, and that's better. I still can't see myself because my eyesight is literally fine. And firstly, I'm so grateful, I'm so lucky, and I'm so thankful that I have the opportunity to stay at home this Diwali, and I'm celebrating Diwali with my family. So all my friends are working so hard, and all senior doctors and everybody across the country. We don't get to be with the family and I'm so proud of you guys. I wish all of them like all the happiness in the world and you guys deserve the best and you guys are definitely the best and thank you honestly. So this video is going to be about detox Diwali and when I'm talking about detoxifying, detoxifying, detoxing, de detox, like it's generally a detox and uh, I just think that this is the time of the year where we all feel incredibly happy and it's filled with love, happiness, positivity and we are all with the families and it's such a beautiful time. I just feel so new, so new, even more new than I newer than I feel on my birthday uh, on Diwali. The most purest week ever. This Diwali, I just thought that I need to really detox everything again. I feel so good right now making this video that once things that I thought that I need to be careful about, I could do it. Sometimes I get a flashback and it just hit me so hard and um, yeah, and it fucking hurts, y'all. And right now, I'm making this video with all the strength that I have and all the positivity and I fucking changed my life in a year, man. I did and I, the thing is, I just don't want to look back. I just don't want to look back. And number one detox is friends and your friends, you think your friends are not your friends. And I'm not <laughs> saying we've all needed to judge your friends or something like that. But I'm just saying that, um, that people will not go far for you the way you would have gone far for them. This is one of the biggest realizations that I made. Like if I were at your place, I would have done things differently. But you just did what you are. And I don't expect you to be like me. I just expect from people that they would do some things for you. But they don't and they disappoint you and shit like that, man. You should know the people around you, they genuinely love you, okay? And they think of you as a family. If your friends don't think of you as a family, you guys are not even friends. All my girls and my sisters, I can just go incredibly far for them. But when you realize that they won't go the same for you, you should understand you should realize your own worth and create a boundary. If somebody loves you, they'll always have you in their mind. They'll always do things keeping you in their mind. So there was whenever I'm going somewhere, I always think of my mom, dad, or my brother, like what if they they also like it? So I just get for them and I think of my friends. But if they don't think of you, if they're not thinking of you, you should realize that maybe they don't deserve you. Okay. They are not doing the same for me or they are not even getting close to do the things that I would have done for them. So that's when you get to know who's real for you and who's not. You need to stop being around people who are jealous of you, who envy you, who don't support you and when you just get to know about that from someone, you just, you just, you just gotta stay away from them man. Just create a boundary and let it be, leave them behind. Nobody deserves you. If you're a great person, you go to your limits to keep people happy, to make people happy. And if the same people are not giving you enough, just know your worth. It's very, very important to know your worth. You have to distance yourself from people who you love, but they don't love you the same back. Make sure you're investing your energies in real, real people and staying away from the people who have no good intentions about you. The image around me, I just expect a most beautiful, positive relationship between and they just prove it to me that they cannot be my family, you know. They are just friends, honestly. I sometimes they're not even friends, they're just people who are selfish and they're only gonna think about themselves. But just because you guys have a history together or past together, but when in the present, when there comes a moment, when it comes the moment where you get to know like this is it. And when you get to know who's real for you, just keep them forever. And when you get to know someone who's not, just distance yourself slowly out of there. And yeah, I think just protect your peace, you all. Your peace is way, way more important than other people's opinion, okay? The detox I want to talk about is about the bad habits. For me, I think the bad habits sometimes dwelling in the past because it makes me feel good. It could be a memory that I've shared with somebody and it could be a memory that I was happy with with my own self. Because I've shared a memory with someone, if I think about that and I'm really happy and I just feel so good, but that, it's not real. It's not real. It just happened once and right now they're not with you and it's not going to be real. It's never going to be that way. So don't go to your past and think about the same things that made you happy at, the, at that time. You have to create your own happiness each day. You don't have to create, you just stay happy, man. Yeah, you, have, you gotta create, you just wanna have fun. You, know, you just gotta get that mindset. 
that you just don't have to look back. Really one of the worst habits that I found myself developing or just developed in me uh, during the past year. And right now I'm over it you all, like I'm really happy and stuff, it feels great. Just right now, in this moment, I'm really happy. I want to create the best future for myself and I just want that. And I just want you all to realize this, that going back and feeling the same happiness right now, which is never going to be real, like, it doesn't make sense here. We are just wasting our own emotions and we got to realize that. We got to real think this is the present and this is how I'm going to work on it to make myself happy right now and in the future with or without anybody. Second bad habit that I felt was oversharing and I've shared so much. Oh my God. God, oversharing is literally the worst thing, the worst, worst, worst thing. And I think a lot. I have stopped doing that. I really protect my energies and I think so many times for telling anybody any anything that's too personal for me. That's really like the most closest thing about me. I really believe in evil eye. Okay, I really believe in that and you don't want to share things with people, people will ruin the good things. So make sure, you know, the privacy that you have is going to be your power. Detoxifying my life, this Diwali, and getting the newer, happier me. And yeah, it feels good actually. Uh, that's what, that's what, yeah, fuck off, fuck off, Detox is about negativity and I'm not a negative person, never. I've never been a negative person. No matter how critical the situation is or how worse the possible outcome is, I always have a positive mindset about it and I definitely seek more positive ways to clear it out. It's also my worst habit of procrastination, like I'm such a procrast... Pro so there's the next detox is I actually need to be consistent with so many things, I need to get that, I need to get rid of inconsistency and procrastination thing and I'm working on it. I'm going to be very consistent here and on IG and in my life and in my daily habits and I think I need to fix that up. If you, you think. I just want to wish you all a very, very, very happy Diwali and just a very, very happy Diwali, guys. Very, very happy Diwali for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, you guys, that you guys watch me. Like, I have somebody to talk to. Talk to about things that I feel. I just feel so good, you guys. And you guys watch me, you guys DM me, you guys text me, you guys email me. And this makes me feel so, so, so good. I just want to wish you all the happiness in the world and success in the world. I just want to wish you all to stay calm, to stay peaceful, and stay in the moment, to live each and every moment, stay fucking happy because you deserve to. It's always great expressing myself and just makes me feel so much better. And yes, I'll see you guys in my next one.